Two of the people killed in the Lewiston mass shooting died trying to save others. That is according to a statement just out tonight from Kathleen Walker and Stacy Sear about their significant others, Jason Walker and Michael Delorier, who you see pictured here. The woman recently met a representative from Maine State Police who they say told them security video from the spare time bowling alley taken the night of the shooting shows one of the two men trying to kick the shooter's gun away after that gun jammed and the other trying to take him down from behind. They say the video shows Robert Card fatally shooting the two men after he cleared the gun jam. The women say they could not be prouder of their significant others' selfless acts of bravery. In a lot of other cases, though, people affected by the Lewiston shooting are left with more questions than answers. Today, legal organizations across the state made an announcement that they are reaching out to help now. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour has the details. For those affected by the tragedy in Lewiston, picking up the pieces may be difficult, especially on the legal side of things. What happens if my loved one didn't have a will? All sorts of questions like that may come up that folks may never have thought they would have to deal with and, and shouldn't have had to deal with. For those unanswered questions, legal aid organizations across Maine are joining together, announcing Thursday they will offer free civil support for those directly impacted. There's all sorts of things that can actually be a civil legal need that can be more complicated than folks may think at first glance. Pine Tree Legal Assistance is just one of the organizations involved and has already begun helping those affected. After seeing some challenges arise, Executive Director Tom Fritchie says they wanted to make sure everyone one gets the justice they deserve. We've made an especial effort uh, to make sure that for folks impacted by the tragedy in Lewiston, that there's really no wrong door to knock on. Alongside Pine Tree Legal, the Maine Volunteer Lawyers Project, Legal Services for the Elderly and Disability Rights Maine are also prepared to help answer any questions folks may have. This is a unique situation and I think anything that we can do to make any piece of this easier and less traumatic for people, like we're ready to, to do that. Experts say they can offer help with anything from reimbursement for physical and mental medical health expenses to complications with Social Security survivor benefits. That attorney is going to be able to give them the best advice and even ideas that they might have even not even thought of yet because that attorney is familiar with the resources that are out there. After this tragedy, this is the right thing is to just make sure people are aware of the services that are available. Supporting those with questions still unanswered in Lewiston, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine. And we do want to note because of holiday hours, both Pine Tree Legal Assistance and the Volunteer Lawyer Project will reopen for intake starting January 2nd.